This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. The award-winning Lee Pitts Live is brought to you by Hodges University. Build the future you at Hodges University. Southwest Florida, we're so thrilled to come to you today. We're still here, here at the Dunbar Community School that you can see in the background, it's historic community school. We have a fabulous show in store for you today. We'll get a chance to uh, find out a lot of things that are going on in the community. Rach, Rochelle Ford will be one of our guests today. She's the owner and founder of Ford Entertainment Magazine. And this month, uh, last month of October, Lee Pitts and myself got a chance to grace to cover that magazine, so we'll get details on that and what's coming up in the future. They have a great awards show. Also get a chance to talk to Tracy McMillian. He's the Battalion Chief of Training at Iona McGregor First uh, Fire District. He'll break out his uniform on the show. He'll be the first time somebody came on the show who was dressed better than the host. We'll also get a chance to talk to Charles Barnes, the Vice President, Lee County Black History Society. All that's happening on Lee Pitts Live and it's happening right now. Keep it locked, and we'll be right back. Southwest Florida, we're so thrilled to get a lady here in the community who has changed what we see in magazines throughout this country. She's the publisher, one of the founders of Ford Entertainment Magazine. Her name is Rochelle Ford, and we're glad to welcome her to Lee Pitts Live again. Thank you. Rochelle, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to rename this show. Right. Shell Ford Live. How does that sound? I like the sound of that. I mean, because you're on here every day. <laughs> Just <laughs> Make sure your hair doesn't bump that microphone. Let's throw your Dinah Ross in the back. There you go. I got you. And um, first, tell us, what is Ford Entertainment Magazine? Um, it's an entertainment magazine, but it's more than entertainment. It's more so life. Um, we feature different articles and interviews, and we feature different... Um, stories from just regular entrepreneurs who are chasing their dreams. So it's more than just entertainment, it's life, which is actually our slogan. Okay. And is it fair to say you're a national and international as well magazine? Yes, it's very fair to say that. We actually have some locations in Nigeria now um, and also a location in Haiti that just picked up the magazine. Um, we did our Nigerian issue in August, which was extremely fun to speak to different people who are in Africa who have been following the magazine. So it was very fun to do. Now, what's a nice little Haitian lady like you doing, sitting around, coming up with an idea and publishing your own magazine? Tell us about that process. Well, I was raised by my grandmother in Haiti, and she used to always make jokes saying that I'm a journalist because whenever I have a conversation with someone, it sounds like an interview, which I still get to this present day. When I have a regular conversation, they're like, why are you questioning me? So it just, it was a nice transition to go into that field that I'm already a natural in as far as digging for the story. You know, you are the most powerful black hmm. female perhaps, in media in Southwest Florida. Hey, I like that. As I like one that. other lady came in the head, I didn't yeah, want to. another one came up. First Lady too. Nikki, I know you're on the radio. <laughs> we cool. So you guys are there. You and Matt, you in print. She's on the radio. Right, you guys are good right, friends, right? Right, yes, we are. That's, that's my girl. <laughs> okay. Um, to be able to influence the images that we see on your, uh, your online publication, as well as the hard copy, right. we got your... Uh, website on the screen people can go and read the magazine online mm -hmm. what what kind of responsibility do you take with that you know knowing that you can influence a lot of things and images and what people read and see and think about themselves um, the responsibility I take in that is to not only um, print the truth or display the truth but also to educate and entertain at the same time um, we have a column that is in the magazine every month called Parenting from Prison because a lot of our subscribers are incarcerated. So we have one of our writers, Candace Michelle, she writes for us and she kind of gives tips and even like now she's doing books that these, um, you know, the inmates can get and share with their family and do discussion questions with their kids over the phone. So that's really fun. It's, it's from an entertainment magazine but it's helping a family. And we also have the True Wisdom column, which also attacks different. Last month we did um, on Backpage, how it's, you know, the different backstories to it. And also this month we did 23 Ways to Die While Black, and where we shed light on all the different ways, you know, police brutality that's been going on in the world. So it's kind of like a, a, 
educating through entertainment. Excellent. Now, Lee Pitts, mm -hmm. people can see on the screen. I, I was fortunate enough to be on the cover of your magazine. Thank you for that. I, and I got a chance to see how you work behind the scenes and do your interviews and, mm -hmm. and all the things that you have to put together when you're pulling your magazine together. And, you know, being on the cover of your magazine has gotten a lot of great response. People have been Absolutely. Uh, contacting me and, you know, calling me One Hollywood. Of our best covers. Yeah, calling me Hollywood and everything. <laughs> Did you did you airbrush that to make me look like that? You know, my teeth Absolutely. all white and just everything. Natural beauty, just natural handsomeness. I mean, and people looking at it on the screen, they see my teeth all white. I said <laughs> she she airbrushed that thing. <laughs> I did not thank, touch the picture. Thanks for hooking the brother up. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> um, the future. Right. You have a uh, similar to an award show. Absolutely. Describe it and and tell people how they can vote and participate in. The, the, the show, okay. the live show. All right, the award show, we brought it back last year. So this one will be the third one coming up next year, July 14th. And it's pretty much, it has about 35 categories from lifetime achievement to community leader to best nail salon to um, small business owner of the year. So we just kind of want to involve the community as much as possible and reward them for their hard work and dedication. Um, so what we're doing, voting starts actually, we're pushing it to November. It's going to start from November to March, where we're going to encourage everyone to go onto the website for dncmag.info, and they'll be able to vote on all 35 categories for their favorite person. Now, as we sit here now on November 27th, voting has already started, okay? This okay. show is airing November 27th. Absolutely. Okay, now the, um, what's the name? It's Ford what? Ford ENC Awards. Okay. It's very similar to like uh, uh, BET Awards or describe um, it to the people. I would say it's kind of BET Awards with a lot of community involvement. Mm -hmm. um, even though the magazine is an entertainment magazine, so of course we have our music categories. We have, you know, Artist of the Year, Album of the Year, Music Video of the Year. But we wanted to go a little bit further because, like I said, the magazine is more than entertainment. It's also life. So then we included Small Business Owner of the Year, um, you know, Fashion Designer of the Year, Lifetime Achievement Award, just to include everyone else because it's not just music. Now, last year, I was so fortunate that you guys gave me the Lifetime Achievement Award and Absolutely. the Icon Award. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the highest award I ever gotten. Mm -hmm. uh, the, there's a strong possibility that this auditorium that we're sitting in now may be the place uh, for um, the, the event. I'm going to do everything behind the scenes to make sure that you bring it to this lovely auditorium here at the Dunbar Community School. Absolutely. And hopefully I'll be there in person. Um, what has been the response from the community to your award show, your award program? Um, the response has been both positive and negative. Um, negative because a lot of people who did not win feel like they should have won. So instead of taking that, personally I would have taken that and said, well, I need to work harder or I need to broaden my fan base. But they take that as, well, I didn't win when I should have won and, you know, so you'll always get that, but it's mostly positive. I get, you know, a lot of people, you know, thank me for myself and my partner for bringing the, the award show and making them, giving them that night where they can dress up and, and get their awards and make their speech and get recognized for their work. Everybody should be recognized for the hard work they put in. Yeah, we can just eliminate that negative part because competition is just the way it is and, you know, you can't win them all. Right. Uh, it's, it's great that you have that type of uh, event in the community. And uh, we're, we're glancing, at, we've seen a few pictures from that as well. And uh, we're encouraging people to come out next, uh, when is the event? July 14th. July 14th mm -hmm. for the event. And they can go to your website and find out more details. Absolutely. Okay, well, keep up the good work. Thank you for having me. And uh, you're pilling the community. Thank you. Thank Stay you right so there. much. Uh, come on, Talibu. Bien. All right. Quoi? As the saying goes on this particular show, for those who say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like Rochelle. Ford, co-publisher, owner of Ford Entertainment Magazine. We're doing it. We come back. What's going on at the Black History Society Museum and the tree lighting ceremony? Charles is here. Give us all the details. <laughs>